everyone. I am back with a haul. This haul is actually from Friday, but I had a busy weekend. We had a lot of stuff to do around the house, and I had my niece's birthday party. So I am recording it today on Sunday and getting it out to you guys so you can see it. Uh, this is a kind of an accumulation of a few different stores. I'll tell you what stores as I go through it. But yeah, it's not, not a big, huge, crazy haul, but it's still a good haul. So I'll get right into it and uh, we'll get this going. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit awkward. <laughs> anyway, um, I got these four shirts here from the DG. This is just like a plain gray t-shirt. It's a lady small and this is a green hoodie. These two had bleach on them. I don't think that they purposely did it because it was only these two things that had bleach on them. I must have just got spilled on them. Uh, the shirt doesn't look like there's any stains or anything from the bleach. It just uh, smells pretty strong of bleach. I have to wash it. And the hoodie or the t hood sweatshirt, as you can see, has some bleach spots on there. But it's no big deal. I was going to keep this for myself anyway. And I can do the bleach tie-dye that's in right now and just add some more bleach to it. And then there are these two men's Under Armour type shirts. They're long sleeve men's shirts. This one is a large and that one is a 2XL. I think they threw these ones away because they don't have a tag on them. Uh, either does this hoodie, but this t-shirt does. So I think it must have just had the, the bleach on it. So, uh, and then from that same DG, I got four of these cups. There was a few more in there, but you know how that one is. It's busy and there's cars going in and out. And I dropped this one and broke the lid. And I was just worried to keep going after that because it was pretty noisy, a tin cup falling on the ground. So I grabbed four. That's good enough for me. Uh, these are cute little thermos cups. Wine tumblers is what they are. I don't drink wine, but these are probably good for my coffee. And let's see. Oh, and these two came out of that DG dumpster. There is uh, this clown guy. He hangs up. I'm thinking maybe they threw him because his hook is gone and the same with this guy he doesn't have the hook anymore either but they're still good uh, you can always tie a string right around their head and hang them up if you wanted to so a creepy little clown and a skull for Halloween they have their little things all tied up they're pretty long and then I went to a different DG and there was this box of extra uh, color safe bleach non chlorine cotton linen smell and there was a whole case in there and some of it was leaking out, and I think it's because they opened the box upside down. Because if I pull one of these out of there upside down, it does leak. But as soon as I stand it upright, it stops leaking. So that was a good find. A whole case of them. Just because they opened the box upside down. <laughs> and then there was this case of chalk in there. It was thrown in. I had to kind of grab the chalk one by one, but it wasn't too bad with hooks on there. Um, but yeah, I have four more in there, and then three here. Um... I know that these are on sale pretty good. I think these are on sale for like 15 cents right now because they're having a sale for the pink squares. But that's what I got. And then, oh, and then this was also in that first DG dumpster. This case of downy, just the lid come open on the front there. It's not even all the way open. So nice. I said, they must want me to go home and do my laundry because <laughs> then I uh, had gone over to the discount grocery store that starts with an A, and there was this, it's about a half full jug of fabric softener in there. So that's pretty nice. And there was the string light set, which I was happy they, they didn't destroy. Um, it does work. It, it plugs in. It's supposed to say beware. And when I pulled it out and tried it out, it does work, and it does light up. But one of the letters was broke, and I got to looking, and it was the wrong letter anyway. So it says instead of saying beware it has a, a W instead of the R so it's be wow <laughs> but that's okay I just took those off and the lights can go without it and the last place that I went to was the office supply store and I seen these in there I thought they were empty until I knocked one over and it's a full bottle of Febreze fabric extra strength spray it's a brand new full bottle I don't know why they threw it away it doesn't seem to be leaking or anything and so there was two of those in there. So my truck was smelling like fresh laundry for my ride with all of that stuff in there. And then 
this chair was in there and I thought for sure it was going to be cut. This is from the um, office supply store in the other town that I go to. There was a chair in the one that I that's closest to me, but and it was a really nice chair actually, but they had sliced, I mean, they slice it really, really bad. It's not just one little slice here. It's the whole chair. They take that box cutter too really well. But this chair was in there and it was still in the packaging. See, that one is still in the packaging. The base for this is on though. So they must have maybe started to put it together. I'm not sure what the situation was. But I did get all the pieces. Even uh, this I had to go back up to the dumpster. I realized that this was not on the bottom of the chair. But uh, this is the part that makes it go up and down and stuff. Which I found out these and that piece I just showed you on the bottom of this chair actually sell on eBay for quite a bit, about $40 or so. So um, I guess if anybody's interested and you find the chairs that are cut up, you can at least take these pieces off and sell them on eBay if you are a reseller. I don't have an eBay account. I just sell locally. It's easier for me to do it that way than to deal with all the shipping. But these are the arms for it. Everything is perfectly fine. None of it's cut up. That one's still in the package and that little piece down there covers that um, cylinder and even the base of the chair was in there and I don't know like it seems like maybe they started put together and then they just stopped because there's not even any wear on the wheels or anything but I was really excited to find this I just have to get the screws now to put the arms on which I might have in my little I have a little shoebox size tote for furniture parts that I've been collecting over the time <laughs> and actually come in handy when I built that TV stand because I had all the screws I needed out of that box. But yeah, not too shabby of a haul. So uh, thank you guys for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers. We are making our way to 500. If you are new here, when I get to 500, I'm going to do a um, 500 subscriber giveaway. It's a mystery box and I will have it chock full of goodies. It's a decent sized box. So uh, it's actually, I'm gonna reuse the box that Ray Everyday Diver sent me and just put a new label on it and ship it out. <laughs> so I'll reuse that too. And I already have a lot of stuff in there, but I have more to stick in there still. So hang out here and we'll get there. <laughs> and so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I will see you on the next one. Bye. If you're still here, I forgot to show you one thing. <laughs> I also found this speaker in the DG. I had the box. Sorry, someone's pulling in my driveway. Um, the one speaker in there came out of its spot. So I have to take the end off and glue it back in place. But it does work. And I connected it to my phone last night and played some music. And as long as I have that speaker in the right spot, it sounds good. So, all right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.